elephants today are found in parts of Asia and Africa, including Sri Lanka, which is home to approximately 10% of the world's surviving elephant population. There are four different types of Asian elephant still alive today, of which one is to be found here on the small miracle that is Sri Lanka. Welcome to the beautiful Indian Ocean island of Sri Lanka, which is less than 11 hours direct flying time from London, thanks to Sri Lankan Airlines' speedy non-stop service. I'm Akara Hart, and I'm delighted to be joined by the well-known writer and broadcaster David Alderton, whose books about animals have sold millions of copies worldwide and won various awards. We've arrived at the stunning Diabubla Art and Jungle Hideaway, spending time with the inspirational artist and architect, Lackey, to gain deeper insight into the background of this unique property. Um, this is so beautiful here though, I mean, what, what was it like this when you came here? No, my dear, now let me think, when I came here it was 71, there was hardly anyone around. Uh -huh. This place was what you would call a slash and burn piece of uh, land yes. where there was hard no trees at all, hardly uh -huh. any. We were working with Jeffrey Bauer was always interesting because first of all he had very large spaces. His buildings were generally like him. They were large. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to leave this beautiful property for now and to head out to the Minaria National Park to see some elephants. When you drive into the Minaria National Park, you're on dirt roads, and those are bumpy to start with, and then they go up and down, and up and down even more. Driving through the park, you will spot many creatures. Among those we saw parakeets, water buffalo, marabou storks, bee eaters, peacocks, various eagles and monkeys. And it was exciting to observe what seemed to be our first elephant swimming alone in the centre of the lake. As we headed further into the park, having seen the swimming elephant, we were then stunned by the number of other elephants that lay ahead of us. Also though, in our path were a number of other jeeps. Luckily, however, our driver managed to get around those and got us into a position where we had some superb views of the elephants, whether it was the adults or the babies or even the occasional male that was in among the group. And huge numbers were there. I mean, we were talking hundreds of elephants that we saw, uh, which was a most stunning sight, something that you wouldn't actually see anywhere else in Asia, let alone anywhere else in the world. I mean, the elephants are so important to the landscape here. Mm. Uh, I mean, people come to see the elephants and it's great. I mean, there's so many jeeps around us. But the thing is, ultimately, they're keeping this Maintaining habitat the land, yeah. as it stands because their dung's going onto the ground, beetles and other invertebrates are eating the dung, and then that's providing food for the other uh, larger predators like the birds and reptiles and so there's a whole cycle of life here the yeah. whole ecosystem is is functioning and thriving the presence of the elephants have you seen the baby the, yeah, that one's very <gasps> very young oh look, my look he's not fully coordinated yet he's but. adorable <laughs> there's another youngster over over the back there as well Did look how his mum's steering yeah. him and helping him along look at the gentle knee to keep him oh. up the trunk again, it's the trunk that's being used as a hand to steer and notice also how he's being chaperoned by the other females there, they're keeping him central <laughs> because this yeah. is the stage at which uh, young elephants are particularly vulnerable to attacks by leopard. They learn from other members of the group, it's, it's very much, uh, baby is very much part of the group. Whoops, oh. down we go again. 
Is he going to get a helping trunk? No, no. Life is cruel. Sometimes you've got to get out by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the scythe-like motion of the trunks as they're grabbing the grass. Yeah, Just, they almost spiral. The Asian elephants feed in a, in a different way to the African elephant because they only have one sort of lip, if you like, at the end of the trunk, whereas mm. the African elephants have two, so it makes it easy for them to grip, um, whereas the Asians um, don't have that facility, so they have to uh, sort of pull. Each of these will probably need about 170 kilos of food a day, maybe 150, 170. And what about the baby? How much would the baby Well, the baby's going to be suckling still, so okay. that's, that's not... He's trying to get the grass, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's how they learn and explore and texture. Trunk, yeah. I mean, they're eating about 200 plants, probably, in this sort of environment. Yeah, For them, course. it's a hard battle, but they've got to get here to get the water. Well, thank goodness this is incredible. Huge, expansive lake. Yes, yes, yes. They'll surely get to quite a lot of that in the yeah. dry season. <laughs> that's right. The dry season here from July to September and uh, also the time of day is important because they tend to come out in the afternoon, late afternoon and feed through now Ooh. until the early evening, until it gets dusk. Um, it's quite a few babies. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's great to see, I mean it's a, it's a sign of a healthy population. You can see why they've been such a worship symbol for millennia. <laughs> that's absolutely right <laughs> and they're still with us. And we've, we've, we've got to do our bit to keep them. Everyone, everyone on the planet has a responsibility. We're part of this ecosystem. Yeah, it's remembering it's, that. It is As remembering the elephants that. remember everything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As Akara and I looked on, so the elephants began retreating back to their forest home, bringing our elephant encounters to a close.